Hi, Cistern here, back from LA, and uh, just in time to read the Jewels and Ailment Manifesto. Jewels have modifiers that provide various forms of ailment avoidance or protection. However, because their current values are moderately low, we often need to stack several jewels. We're expanding the pool of mods available on magic and rare jewels, making their modifier values more generous so that players have access to better source of ailment mitigation. Regular jewels now have mods that provide reduced duration or effect for a wider variety of ailments than before. Wait, that sounds bad. This seems like it is not achieving what they want already, but... Many unique jewels are not exciting to find. There are a few reasons for this. In most cases, they are simply underpowered or applied narrow wideage window of usage or both. There are also many corruption-only jewels that don't fulfill a good purpose. We are hesitant to revisit unique jewels and improve them beyond their initial designs because many of their themes are somewhat rigid in nature, meaning there is a little room to improve them without completely remaking them. We are making it so that every unique jewel that drops is very rare and highly desirable. This means that many existing unique jewels have been removed from the drop pool. The intention is that now when you find a unique jewel, it should almost always be a very positive experience. To help make jewel drop special, we've designed a new unique jewel that are powerful chase items. These can drop from the core pool. This sounds good at least. Honestly, I like a lot of the reworks they did on uniques and that they're dropping this. Like a lot of the level of uniques and stuff as well. Like even like things like Thousand Ribbons and stuff. Like because Thousand Ribbons is huge now. Like it's insane. With that said, there were some unique jewels that were still useful for some set of players since they have build and emily modifiers or other niche uses like brute force solution or other attribute transformation. Instead of getting rid of these, we made them corruption only unique jewels. I mean, I've always appreciated getting the conversion fossils as SSF player. I mean jewels as SSF player. Some build and emily uniques can now be found through more deterministic sources. One example is combat focus, which can be obtained through a combat vendor recipe. Oh. I don't mind that they're trying to do something different with jewels because I feel like threshold jewels were in a very, very bad spot for a while. Like, for example, the freezing pools in Frostfall. Jewels for like, there's no reason not to use them. I wish, honestly, personally, what I think threshold jewels are good for would be something you swap in for bossing, in my opinion. Something that made a skill a lot better for single target that you would do for big encounters. That would be like, what I would suggest. I'm hoping that they're moving towards more like specific drops. Like every golden boss can drop it. Personally, I, I really wish PoE did this more, but I wish that we had like more target farming. I'm a big fan of target farming. Problem, many of the unique tools that are currently granted through Quest Wars are not very desirable. Additionally, because they're not... Is that true though? Aren't they some of the most used tools, even the pretty common ones i feel like they're super used conquer efficiency especially but like i would say all the i would say all of them even the act two ones people use the act five one i guess only poachers aim is used what are the other ones there but the pierce one is huge the conquer one is huge they are desirable and and they're in a really good spot right now they're in a good location that's a good thing to have additionally because they're offered to all players who make their way through the campaign they're extremely common which inhibits them from having value or being meaningful items to find. Okay, sure. But should these be meaningful items to find? We've also come to feel that it's thematically incorrect to offer unique items as quest rewards, as it undermines their feeling of uniqueness or prestige. Okay. I mean, I could see that. Maybe their goal is to move towards every unique being exciting. Honestly, I could see it. Because they've started even making level uniques pretty rare. They could also put it as a uh, mastery, like putting an additional pierce and a mastery somewhere would help. Players should no longer be burdened with predictable unique jewel quest words. Burden? That's a very weird choice of word. I'm pretty scared of the jewels. However, they said it, well, it could go up to 50% on abyssal jewels. If it could go up to 50% on normal jewels, I think it would be okay. But I think they said 30 or 35%, which I don't think is good. I could see it being a change in the good direction. If they made it 50%, so you would do two jewels for freeze immunity, I think that would be good because at the moment, ailment immunity is very 0 to 100. And that's not necessarily good. So breaking it up like this could be good, but maybe not at the current rates they have. Because at the moment, it's like, what, six jewels plus some tree investment or eight jewels plus some tree investment for full ailment immunity, and that's Ignite, Freeze and Chill, Shock. But it was very 0 to 100, right? Like, you can't run around with 90%. So 
So now two jewels for one ailment. I think that's fine. So that's six jewels for three ailments. That's assuming you can't roll two ailment while on a single jewel. Yes, you're right. That is assuming that. But I feel like six or eight jewels for ailment immunity, that seems pretty balanced still. Especially if you already need to hit a perfect 50% roll and divine it. I think most changes that happen like this is almost always bad for players initially. And then they work out the kinks over time. But I still think they're good things to be done. Still feel like we're feeling the pains of the flask changes, at least for how I enjoy playing the game. But I also feel like flasks weren't in a good spot. I don't know, this manifesto is very whatever for me. It doesn't really, it doesn't really hype me up or unhype me at all. It just doesn't really affect me. Because all of these things is not anything I'm going to have any idea how it is until I see it in practice. This could end up being really good. This could end up being really bad. I have no fucking idea until I play the game or, and see more like actual things. I'm not outraged. I'm not excited. The only thing that's slightly exciting is the idea of them adding more chase jewels and that every jewel drop being exciting. That sounds fun. Anyway, if you're watching on YouTube, thanks for watching. Sorry if you liked the video. Let's wait for the other manifestos and try to die less than I do.